to present learning in a way that not only builds up students in core subjects, but also allows for opportunities to solve real world problems. When we learn about science, we not only learn about animals and their biology and their environment, but we also learn about how to advocate for animals that might be in danger. OJA has been serving families for over 100 years in innovative and engaging ways. The high standards that we place on ourselves and on our students come from the one we follow, Jesus. Choose OJA today. Register at OrlandoJuniorAcademy.com. Welcome to day number five of Rocky Railway. Have you had a great week learning how you can explore Jesus' power and learn how to trust Jesus? Now, do you remember yesterday's Bible point? Jesus' power lets us live forever. Trust, trust God. God. And we also met Finn, the trout. Since today is day number five, you will be needing everything that is wrapped up in red just like this. Don't open up the craft quite yet because you will get a chance to make it together with friends on a Zoom call when BBS is over. Parents, you should have received that link in your email. For the locomotion game, you will need some popsicle sticks and dice. Congratulations to our Facebook and Instagram winners yesterday. 
Today, I will post another question and the first and tenth person will get a prize. You can find us on Whole Life Kids. Today, you'll learn how God wants you to love each other in the same way that He loves you. So, are you ready for our last ride on the Rocky Railway? Welcome to our last day at Rocky Railway, where we are trusting Jesus to pull us through life's ups and downs. Let's sing Your Power Will Pull Us Through and celebrate. We trust in you, Jesus, you're all, you're all, you're all that we need. Your power will pull us through. We're trusting in you, we're trusting in you. You give us hope and life that's forever. You make us bold and we stand together. journey there's no looking back with jesus to lead us we're on the right track oh, 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 oh. wide open spaces for wide open eyes we're looking ahead for the next big surprise oh, 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 oh. we trust we trust we trust in you jesus you're all all that we need, your power will pull us through. We're trusting in you, we're trusting in you. You give us hope and life that's forever. You make us whole and we stand together. Your power will pull us through. We're trusting in you, we're trusting in you. We're off on this journey. There's no us to lead us we're on the right track oh, 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 oh. wide open spaces for wide open eyes we're looking ahead for the next big surprise oh, oh, oh. It has been so much fun to have everyone riding the rails with us here at Rocky Railway. You know, a long time ago, trains were the best way to take a long trip. About 12 years ago, I actually went on a three-day train ride all the way from the top of India down to the very bottom of India. We slept on the train, we rode on the train, we saw all kinds of really cool things. What's the longest trip you've been on? How long did it take and what did you do? When people started using trains in North America, they couldn't get all the way across the United States on one train. There was a train that covered one part of the country, 
and a different train that covered the other side of the country, like this. And finally, they made it so that the tracks connected. It was such a big deal that they put a solid gold spike in the trains to seal the deal. Now the whole country was connected. This week, we're discovering how we are connected to Jesus' power. That makes me want to dance and celebrate. Come on and join me. in heaven for me this train is bound for glory this train this train is bound for glory this train this train is bound for glory this train this train is bound for glory Jesus is made a place in heaven for me this train is bound for glory this train Okay now, let's bring it down. This train is bound for glory. This train. This train is bound for glory. This train. This train is bound for glory. Jesus made a place in heaven for me. This train is bound for glory. This train. in heaven for me this train is bound for glory this train all week long we have been celebrating Jesus power and God's awesomeness by sharing our God sightings God sightings remind us of Jesus power they are evidence of God. We see them here, at church, at home, at school, at the park, at the pool, everywhere. One time when I was opening up my lunch to eat at work, I found a note in there that one of my kids had left me that said, I love you, mama. Just simple things like that in surprising places that you don't even expect to see evidence of how much God loves us. Now it's your turn. Think about a God sighting that you had in a surprising place or a surprising way. Write it on your sticky notes and put it up with your other God sightings. We can trust Jesus, that his Father God is at work all around us, everywhere we go. This week, we've learned an incredible truth about the Bible each day. On day one, we met Ramsey. This tough guy helps us remember that Jesus' power helps us do hard things. Trust Jesus. Yeah, on day two, we met Ava, a majestic bird who helps us remember that Jesus' power gives us hope. Trust Jesus. On day three, we met Sierra. This lovely mountain lion helps us remember that Jesus' power helps us be bold. Trust Jesus. And yesterday, we met Finn, a terrific trout. Finn helps us remember that Jesus' power lets us live forever. Trust Jesus. Well, we have one more buddy to meet to remind us of today's Bible point. Jesus' power helps us be good friends. Trust Jesus. We... No, you wait right over there, all right? I'll be back in a minute. You stay over there. Listen, it's okay. I got this, all right? Ah, people. Ah, you know? Yeah, what's up, Cam? I mean, like, you look really steamed up. <laughs> Get it? Steamed, steamed I up? I it. Okay. 
I mean, it's almost like you're going off the rails. <laughs> Come on, Nikki, that was good. That was you're good. not helping. Come on with the jokes here. You don't understand. This is a major engineer issue. Well, you know what? Try me. I'm pretty sure I can track along with you. <laughs> <laughs> with the jokes, really? Come on, like, I don't think you can understand this. Um, yeah, no, I, wait, one more. Okay, just one more, because I am listening. I'm listening, I promise. I'm, I'm all engine ears. <laughs> to get engine ears. Okay, no, I'm really listening. Listen, it, here's the problem, okay? Mm-hmm. All right, Nikki, like, we got a new person, and, and on a train, there's two people. There's the engineer, right. myself, and then there's the fireman. Like a red truck and Dalmatian kind of fireman? No, no, no. No, a fireman's like the person who, you know, they take the coal, they shovel it into the boiler, and it heats it up, and then the steam goes, and it makes the train go, right? And so right. we got a new fireman who's doing that. Right, I'm tracking with you. <laughs> Anyways, this new fireman, he won't stop talking about it. He always is talking. He's like, hey, Cam, how was your day? Hey, Cam, what's your favorite color? Mine's purple. Hey, Cam, why don't you ever talk to me? Hey, Cam, how old are you? Wow, that's so old, Cam. I know, like, were you there when they invented the train? Hey, Cam, I got a joke for you. What do you call a train carrying lots of bubble gum? A choo-choo train. <laughs> I didn't even think that was funny. So he was like, ha, 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 ha. Well, why did you think that was funny? Why don't you like me, Cam? And he just keeps going and going. He's like, wow, well, you want to hear? Why well, was the train really good at the job? Because of all of its training. And he just keeps going on and on. He's just never stopped talking. Wow, Cam. It does not sound like you are being a good friend to this new guy. In fact, you're being sort of mean by making fun of him. Yeah, I just, you know, you don't understand. It's like constantly interrupting me while I'm trying to get work done. Oh, I think I have a pretty good idea of what that's like. Huh? Yeah. Camp, look, loving others is such an important part of life. Even when it's hard to be good friends, Jesus' power can help us be good friends. You can pray and ask Jesus to help you. All yeah. right. That's still pretty tough when he's always talking. Uh, well, I know. Trust me. I know. But, you know, Jesus' power helps us be good friends. You can pray about it. Ask Jesus for his strength and his patience. Ask him to help you see your new friend the way he sees him. Man, that's, I mean, we've got a long haul in our next journey. I mean, I'd have lots of practice, you know, being a good friend to him because you're right. Maybe he does just need someone to listen to him. Maybe he does. Maybe he's lonely. I mean, sometimes the people who annoy us the most are the ones who need the friendship the most. All right. You're right. It's kinda, I'm going to need a lot of help from Jesus, though. Really, I'm going to need his power to do it. Yeah. You know what? Could you guys, like, pray for me, like, and do that? Yeah. Yeah. We'd be happy to pray for you, right? We're, we're going to wrap up here and then I'll pray with you before you leave on this trip. And I mean, who knows? Maybe Jesus put you on the crew with this guy because you can show him the love of Jesus in a way that only you can, Cam. Only I can. Yeah. Only Cam Track can. Cam Track. Well, that's pretty cool. All right. Well, I'm going to go finish getting my supplies. Thanks, Thanks, Nikki. I'll be back in a little bit so you guys can pray for me. All right. See you, Cam. Hey, let's meet today's Bible buddy. Hi friends, I'm Ruby. And I'm Sylvia. This week, we've learned incredible truth from Animal Buddies. When I say the Bible point, I want to hear you shout, trust Jesus, okay? On day one, we met Ramsey. This tough guy helps us remember Jesus' power helps us do hard things. Let's hear you. Trust Jesus! On day two, we met Ava, a majestic bird who helps us remember Jesus' power gives us hope. Trust Jesus! On day three, we met Sierra. It's a lovely mountain lion. Helps us remember Jesus' power helps us to be bold. Trust Trust Jesus! Jesus. Yesterday, we met Finn, a terrific trout. Finn helps us remember Jesus' power lets us us live forever. Trust Jesus! Well, we have one more buddy to meet. And when you see Lawrence Elf, you can remember that Jesus' power helps us to be good friends. Trust Jesus! Let's learn about our last buddy, Lawrence Elk. I heard everyone was steaming ahead with the last day of Rocky Railway. Glad you're here. I'm Lawrence Elk. Not a moose, not a ram, but an excellent elk. Male elks are called bulls, and me and my bull buddies like to hang out way up in the Rocky Mountains. In the winter, 
we move down where we can find grass. But in the spring and summer, we head for the hills. It's important that we stick together with the herd. Some elk herds are as big as 400 friends. Although my antlers are big and strong, female elk or babies don't have these. And a hungry bear is hard to fight off. Speaking of these amazing antlers, they are pretty incredible if I do say so myself. Sometimes they come in handy when other herds get too close to mine. Or I need to show another bull that I'm in charge. Yeah, sometimes we butt heads, even in our happy herd. But I try not to get too attached. Literally, they fall off every year and I grow a new set. How cool is that? God also gave me a unique power to help me communicate with the herd. <clears throat> <laughs> That's called bugling. It's a little like roaring and whistling at the same time. It keeps my herd close together where we can be safe. Our herd even has scouts. A few elk who stand watch while others graze. We have to look out for each other. Do you have friends who look out for you? Friends you like to call out to when you're sad or silly, happy or hurting? Or do you sometimes butt heads with your buddies? Maybe you need the power to forgive and love a friend when you're not getting along. You don't have to do that all by yourself. Jesus gives you his power to help be a good friend. Jesus gave this powerful command in the Bible. Love each other in the same way I have loved you. If you're butting heads with your buddies and not getting along, you can trust Jesus' power and follow his words. Jesus' power helps us be good friends. Trust Jesus! <laughs> When you see Lawrence Elk, you can remember that Jesus' power helps us be good friends. Trust Jesus. Hey, I'm back. I'm all packed up and ready hey, to go. Hey, Cam. Thanks for praying for me. Yeah, of course. All right. Jesus, we ask, Father, that you would please just give Cam just a power that he needs to be a good friend to his new fireman, that he would trust you in all of his journeys and all of his travels. Thank you that he has uh, met you this week and become friends with you as well. It's in your precious name that we pray. Amen. Thanks, Nikki. Thanks, all right. you guys. Yeah. Hey, let's sing about Jesus' awesome power. <laughs>
welcome to our last day of Imagination oh, Station. Oh, man. Last day. So today we're discovering that Jesus' power helps us be good friends. Trust Jesus. That's right. But before we dig into that, I have to ask you the question one more time. Did you bring your imagination? I think we could still use a little help. Yeah. It's fun anyway. Yeah. So It's All the right. last day. We need tons of imagination. <laughs> so yeah. I was talking to Lawrence, Lawrence Elk. I think you guys met him a little earlier. <laughs> Did you know that elk can grow to be 730 pounds? That's big. Yeah, that's huge. So I said, Lawrence, what do you use to power you up so you can climb up the mountain? And he said that he eats 20 pounds of vegetation every day. So I was thinking Whoa. maybe we could go find some vegetation in our house. Like you could find a plant or even like a fruit or a vegetable or something. Um, and just, just will, will our little Yeah, we succulent? can use this. Okay. Right. So you guys pause, run and grab something. Wow, 20 pounds of that every day. That's amazing. So let's go on to, today, to today's talk starter question. We do. We still have our talk starter question talking about the elk, just like Lawrence. So here's your question. You see it on the screen. How many toes do elk have on each leg? Do they have two toes or four toes? All right, guys. If you think it's two toes, go to that side of the room. If you think it's four toes, go to the other all right, are we ready to do our last drum roll together? Final Here drum roll. Here we go, roll. nice and loud. All right, the elk actually have two, no, they have four toes. Hey. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> just trying to trick you. <laughs> All right. Four toes Four on toes each. on each awesome. leg. Okay, well, our last thing that we're going to make in Imagination Station is a power band. So we know that coal and wood right. are used to give a train its power. So they're thrown into the fire and they burn and they cause lots of heat and they make the water to boil and there's steam. Um, so we have coal beads and we have wooden beads, beads, but we also know that our power comes from Jesus. So we also have one little cross in here to remind us of Jesus' power. And we're gonna put these together to make a bracelet. Um, so since you just have one bracelet, maybe think about sharing that bracelet with a friend after you have completed it. Because today we are learning that Jesus' power helps us be good friends. Trust Jesus. Yes. All right. Are you guys ready to make your bracelet? Yep. Let's, Let's do show, that together. Show them how it's done. All right. So you have your black stretchy string and let's tie a knot on the end. So that'll help keep our beads from falling off while we're putting them on. So you just tie a nice little knot there. And if you can, find something to maybe hold it down. I'll have my friend, Miss Jessica, hold it down. Yep. And or if you have a little piece of tape or something like that. And then let's find our coal beads and our wood beads and let's thread them on. It's kind of nice to do that back and forth, one, one coal, then one wood bead. But let's put our cross in the middle too. So got a nice little hole there. There's my coal bead. Then I'm gonna do a wood bead next. All right, and we're gonna just keep putting them on. But if it takes you a little while, that's all right, because what, what do we learn on day one? Jesus helps us do hard things. And if someone asks you, what do these strange shaped beads represent? You can tell them it's coal and it's wood. And they, and they give power to a train but Jesus, the cross, gives power to us. I think I'm going to stop there because I have even number on each side. I have a few extra beads, but that's okay. all right. We can use them later on. All right. So then what you can do is help each other tie it around and make it just right so that it fits. Because it's a little stretchy, but you still want to make sure that it's fairly snug. And then we can take scissors and snip those off yeah. so they're not in our way but Great. I love it so thanks beautiful. so much for the bracelet you're welcome I've had so much fun this week with you Miss Jessica yes I hope me everybody too. else has too and I hope you guys keep all of your gizmos and you remember that Jesus loves you so so much bye bye everyone <laughs> Hey guys. OK, 
Okay, so we're on our last day of VBS. We're on day five for games. So this is going to be a lot of fun with this one. Now, what you need is a popsicle stick. Uh, this is a thin one. You may want to use a thicker one for your younger kids. Or you can use the back of a spoon. You could use um, anything that's really like long in length and has somewhat of dimension where you can stack stuff onto it. So what you also need are dice. And these dice are just regular dice. You can find them in any type of game, board game, Monopoly games, things like that. Just grab as many as you can. You probably don't need more than four. Five would probably be the most that you would need because it is very challenging. So this is also a minute to win a game. So you have one minute to see how many dice you can stack on top of the popsicle stick. However, you're not just holding the popsicle stick. You're going to put it in your mouth and hold it and then stack the dice. I will demonstrate for you. So you keep doing that for a whole minute until you get to the end of it, and then you see how many you could actually stack. I think I got up to five, but that's the most I've ever done so far. So that's a great, great thing. All right, guys, enjoy your time. We're glad you joined us this week at VBS, and we hope to see you real soon. Welcome back, everybody. Today, we're discovering how Jesus' power helps us to be good friends. Trust Jesus. So I just stopped by Jen's house today, and it looks like somebody's decorated it for a party, but I don't know why she would be having a party. And to be really honest, I don't even know if I've been invited to the party or if you're invited. Uh, but as long as we're all here, we may as well just go inside. So speaking of this, have you ever been invited to a party, but you had some other friends that weren't invited? Or maybe it was the other way around. Maybe a bunch of your friends all went and did something together, but they left you out of it. You know, how did it feel to be left out and excluded? Or how did it feel to be included when you knew that other people were being left out? Take just a minute and talk about that with your friends in the room.
So today we're learning that Jesus' power helps us be good friends. Trust Jesus. So Jesus' first followers, the first Christians, they kind of had an inner circle, but they didn't try to keep anybody out of their circle. They invited everyone in. And after Jesus died and came back to life, he went back to heaven. His followers and his friends told as many people as they could about Jesus. So you heard a little bit about that with Peter and John's adventure in the temple, right? And then those people told people and those people told people until pretty soon, everybody had heard that story about the miracle of Jesus. And uh, what I want to do now is we're going to open the Bible up to Acts chapter 2. And I just want to read you a verse. Um, Acts 2 verse 42. And they devoted themselves to the apostles' teaching and the fellowship and the breaking of bread and prayers. So they're eating together. They're praising Jesus together. They're hanging out together and sharing with each other. And Jesus' power made those believers really good friends. And they wanted everyone else to join them too and to become friends of Jesus as well. So let's celebrate what we've learned about Jesus and his power this week so we can tell other people about it. All right, so I have some of these gift boxes over here. Each of these boxes contains a clue uh, to remind you of one of this week's totally true Bible stories. So I'm gonna open the box and take out the clue and you guys can see if you can guess which story it's talking about. So the first one, oh, the heart. What does this heart remind you of? If you guessed day four, Jesus' power lets us live forever. We talked about Jesus' love for us and how he died for us so we could be with him forever. You would have guessed right. Good job, you guys. Let's see what we have in here. Oh, this was one of my favorites. All right, who does this remind you of? If you guessed day one, when we uh, learned about Ananias and how he had to go and meet Saul and it was a really hard thing for him to do. And we learned that Jesus' power helps us to do hard things. You would have guessed right. All right, let's see what's in this one. Oh, let's see. Here we have a couple of coins. Wow, if you, what does this remind you guys of? The coins. If you guessed day three, where we learned that Jesus' power helps us to be bold, and we talked about how Peter and John, uh, help, Jesus helped them to do the miracle that healed that man at the temple gate that couldn't walk, you would be correct. All right, last but not least, Oh, we have some of these uh, sea biscuits or whatever we want to call them. What does this remind you of? If you guessed day two, Jesus' power gives us hope, you would be totally right about that. Oh, I'm going to put these back. There you are. Oh. I've been looking for you to give you the invitation you to the friendship party. What? Oh. And all of you guys are invited too. Oh, Because phew. Jesus wants us to be friends with everyone. And Jesus' power helps us to be friends with everyone. <laughs> so this is a friendship party. Yes. And we're here and Jesus is here too. That's right. Well, most good parties do have decorations. We've got all that. Yep. Check. Okay. And you know what else parties have? What? Some good music. Oh, we got some music. All Check. right. We got the music. Uh huh. And then if you've got a really great party, you've got some great conversations. Mm. And we've been having some great conversations all week long in the yeah. Bible Adventure. And speaking of good conversations, we've been having a really great conversation on friendship. Mm. You know, why don't we take a couple minutes right now for you guys to talk about how you can be good friends to other people.
When we give our hearts to our friend Jesus, we get lots of friends too. We get each other, Hmm. which is so awesome. And Jesus said that when we treat others as friends, that shows other people why we know him and that he's real. Hmm. When we're friends together, it sends a signal that Jesus is with Hmm. us and that we know him. It's a signal that other people can see. And this is why friendships matter. They help us show Jesus to others. And we can show Jesus love to one another too. Hey, I have a really great idea on how we can demonstrate this right now. Awesome. Um, Hey, I'm gonna ask a couple friends to come in and join us. Heidi and Tracy, come on in. You guys stand right here. And okay, we're just going to all join hands. We're gonna all be connected together. Tracy, I want you to be connected here. And I just want you guys to see how when we're all connected, we're sending this signal out to the world that we are friends and we're connected. But you know what? If just one person breaks that connection, the signal goes away. And so our staying connected is really important to telling the rest of the world about Jesus. Thank you guys. Whether it's in person or whether it's online, we need to stay close to other friends and to other friends of Jesus. And remember what we've discovered about the power of Jesus this week. Jesus's power helps us do hard things. Trust Jesus. Jesus's power gives us hope. Trust Jesus. Jesus's power helps us to be bold. Trust Jesus. Jesus's power lets us live forever. Trust Jesus. And Jesus's power helps us be good friends. Trust Jesus. Hey, you guys, we have loved spending every one of the last five days with you guys. It's been awesome. Have a blast this summer. Wow, we're here back at the Rocky Wrap-Up on day five of VBS 2020. It's gone by so fast. It's felt like only a day, you know, but it's been five. And I'm so excited to be with you guys. I'm so sad because it's ending, but it's also not quite over yet. So get ready, because today, the closing, our time together in the Rocky Wrap-Up is going to blow your mind about Jesus' power. God's power is so amazing. So let's sing right now the power shuffle. Everyone stand up and let's worship Jesus together.
Can everybody clap your hands? Now stop. Wow, our week this week was amazing. Getting to discover God's power together. I, I can't believe how many God sightings we had. We had so many times when we were taking those yellow sticky notes this weekend, writing down things that we saw God do and putting them all over the house. I wonder what your house looks like right now with all of the God sightings. It's probably amazing. We saw God in the Bible stories. We saw God when we hugged each other. We saw God in the smiles, the laughter, the games, the, the praising him and worship, all of the cool things we've learned. Like we've seen God in so many different ways in his love and his goodness here at Rocky Railway. You know what? I want you to tell me right now. Tell me what's one way you saw God this week. Yeah, that's awesome. And you know what? We've been learning uh, all week about God's power. But today we learned that Jesus' power helps us be good friends. Trust Jesus. Yeah, that's right. Today we met Lawrence the Elk, who, who's a good leader to all the other Elk friends that's in his back. It's awesome. So I got a question for you all. How can you be good friends to the people in your herd? Yeah, that's so good. I'll tell you what, Jesus' power pulls us through life's ups and downs, helps us be a good friend to other people. But most important is that Jesus' power makes us, makes us be with him forever. That because Jesus is our friend forever, because he saved us like we learned yesterday, we can be good friends to everyone else around us forever, which is so cool. So let's sing right now about how Jesus saved us and about how we're going to spend eternity with him forever. That this train is bound for glory. Let's worship it. This train is bound for glory. This train. This train is bound for glory. This train. This train is bound for glory. Jesus made a place in heaven for me. This train is bound for glory. in heaven for me. This train is bound for glory. This train. Okay, now let's bring it down. This train is bound for glory. This train. This train is bound for glory. This train. This train is bound for glory. Jesus made a place in heaven for me. This train is bound for glory. This train. in heaven for me. This train is bound for glory. This train. This train. This train. This train. Wow, so good. 
Over this week, we've gotten to know each other more and more. Whoever you start this week off with, you've probably gotten to know them with different games and different stuff. And it's been such a great adventure. And, and we've become such closer friends through all this. Even if there's differences to us, like, like even if that's the case, we can laugh together, eat together, pray together, worship together, sing together, have fun together, make memories together. Like we can do so much together as friends. And that is the power of Jesus' love working in action amongst you, amongst your friends right now, whoever you're sitting with. The power of Jesus is working in your home together. And here's the thing. When you make friends with somebody, you're making a connection with them, just like God makes a connection with us. So here's what we're going to do. I got this, this cool idea, all right? Imagine that this finger is you, all right? Hold up that finger, all right? Okay? Then imagine that this finger is one of your good friends, all right? So you guys hang out together, do stuff together. It's like you're really, really close like this. So put your fingers together like that, all right? You're making a connection with one of your friends. But sometimes you say something mean. Or sometimes they say something mean. Or sometimes someone does something to hurt our friendship, you know? Like, like I don't know, like they, they call us a name or they leave us out of a game or... Or, or, I don't know, things that just are not from God, things that pull our friendships apart. There's so many different ways that we can hurt each other as friends. Think about something that happened to you where one time your friendship was pulled apart because of something you did or someone else did. Yeah, that, think about that makes me sad because I think about ways that I've hurt my friends or my friends have hurt me. I've got this really cool challenge for you, okay? Here's where it's going to happen. You put your fingers together like this, and someone else in the room, someone else in the room, stand up and come over to you and put your arms on that person right below the elbows like this, okay? Like that. So you got, you got your fingers like this, and someone else in the room is going to put your, their hands on your arms like this. Now, when I say go, that person holding your arm has 10 seconds to try to pull your fingers apart, okay? So they're holding your arms. When I say go, they've got 10 seconds to try to pull your fingers apart. Now, you got to try to keep your fingers together, okay? As best as you can. Don't let them break. All right, here we go. On your mark, get set, go. Nice, okay. Now switch places and try it again, all right? So whoever's doing this now is trying to pull the person's arms, and whoever was pulling the person's arms is now going to put their fingers together. Switch places and ready, set, go. Wow, well, I was thinking that was going to be really easy to pull their fingers apart, but why do you think that was so difficult? Like, what, what do you think? Why? Wow, that was some good answers. What was crazy is no matter how hard you tried, you couldn't pull each other's fingers apart. I thought it was going to be easy. And see, when we're friends with Jesus, we can trust that his power keeps our friendships together. It helps our friendships stick and grow, not be pulled apart. And when things get in the way of that, we rely on his forgiveness. We rely on his power to help us grow in our friendships stronger and stronger so we can become better and better friends. That's so cool. Now, if you thought that was cool, I've got something right here that I want to show you that's even cooler. Check this out, okay? Because here's the thing. Let's be really honest with ourselves. Let's be totally honest, okay? There's sometimes people that are really hard to be friends with. Like, like, I often find myself, there's some people that's like, oh, that's like, I want to be best friends with them. But there's some people that it's hard to be friends with them. Maybe they're mean or they're different or whatever. There's reasons why it makes it difficult for us to want to be good friends with them. So, imagine right now that this bottle right here is somebody who, you know, it's hard to be good friends with. It's hard to be nice to them. It's hard to love them. It's hard to be like Jesus to them. And and you don't know what to do, okay? So imagine that that's these two bottles right here. There's someone like that. Someone who's just not always easy to love. Now, i got to put on these special gloves here because this is crazy, all right? So excited to show you what's going to happen here. Let me ask you a question, though, as we're, we're doing this. What are some ways that with somebody that's hard to be good friends with, someone who's hard to love, what are some ways that you can show them the love of Jesus? Like, what do you think?
wow, those are some good examples, but I gotta be honest with you, I just don't know if I've got enough steam to really accomplish that, because that's tough. So I honestly am really gonna need Jesus' help. I need the power of Jesus to help me love people that are hard to love, or be friends with people that are hard to be friends with. So watch what Jesus' power can do, all right? When we let Jesus' love and his goodness and his power transform our lives, and then we hang out with people that are hard to love, check it out when we add this power pack to this situation with somebody that's hard to love. Oh, I can see it start happening. Get ready. As you get closer to the TV to watch what's happening or the computer, Tell me what you see is happening, okay? Smoke is starting to build up. Steam is starting to build up. Wow, do you see this? More and more steam is coming out. It's still happening. Like when I dropped the power packs in there, the, the, the water began to change. There was this reaction. And it's like, wow, this is crazy. And it's just getting more and 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 more. Like you sitting there watching right now. This is unbelievable. You know, and this is exactly what happens in our lives with Jesus. Like, like when we encounter him and he changes us, then when we meet other people, even if they're hard to love, we're a part of seeing their lives change because the power of Jesus changes everything. It changes the way we treat others. It changes the way we treat ourselves. It changes the way we see others. And so we see that God's love changes us. And then when we meet other people, it can change their lives too. We see that God's love is his goodness can change the world through us. That other people can be filled with hope and happiness. That, that people can discover that, that Jesus died for their sins. And that they can have the power of God with them in their lives as well. And they can be bold and capable of doing amazing things with their lives as well. That's so cool that this is what happens when the power of God's love affects our lives. And we hang out with other people. They will see God's love through us. You know what? Let's sing right now to celebrate this power, this love from God. And let's sing, because it only comes from him. Let's sing in you alone.
such a terrific train trek on this rocky railway together. We've had so much fun exploring Jesus' power and love this week. I'm thankful for you all. You guys have been like God sightings to me all week long, hearing your voices, singing, watching you show kindness to each other, listening to your laughter. Man, all of that shows me the power of God all around us. I've loved hanging out with you guys. It's been an amazing weekend. Even though it kind of feels like it's over, it's really not. This is just the beginning of what God's going to do in your life this summer. So I, I can't wait. You know, as we leave this week, continue to look for God's power all around you. I mean, th- there'll be hard times this summer. In those moments, look to trust in Jesus' power. There'll be times where you want to show love to a friend. Look to Jesus in those moments. Like this summer, for the rest of our lives, Jesus gives us hope courage. And so let's finish right now with our theme song of the week of VBS 2020 to worship Jesus to end our time together. We trust, we trust, we trust in you, Jesus, your own. You're all, you're all that we need. Your power will pull us through. We're trusting in you. We're trusting in you. journey there's no looking back with jesus to lead us we're on the right track oh, 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 oh. wide open spaces for wide open eyes we're looking ahead for the next big surprise oh, oh, oh. God loves you and his power is enough for you in whatever you go through. We cannot wait to see you soon. We love you. Have a great day.